Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another haul video. Here I have October 2016's haul, which I'm so excited about. Not that there's anything spectacular in this haul this go round, but after months of having hauls with only like two or three items in it, I'm actually glad to have a haul that's a decent size again. It's really been a while. Um, but what I'm not excited about is the ridiculous price I had to pay for shipping this month. I'm not even sure why. Amiyami sent me this really big box. Not quite coffin size as they usually send some people. But still, pretty decent sized box. Mostly filled with, of course, paper as Amiyami loves to cut down trees to fill up boxes. I don't know why. And so therefore, I just... The price for shipping was ridiculous. And then when I took out all the items, it was like, really? You sent this huge box for this stuff. I mean, I kind of see why, and I guess you guys will too once I start showing you. But still, it was kind of painful. So yeah, guys, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so first up, we have the standard Ami Ami. Thank you for shopping with us postcard or whatever you want to call it. And here we go. This month, it's a new design, and it seems to be Amako, I believe that's her name, in some kind of magical girl outfit, which is really cool. I really love this, this design. Almost every month I say that design is like my new favorite, and it's no different this month. I actually really love this. It's really cool. I love the little, is this like a little plushie of Lil Ko right here? I'm not sure, but just so much is going on in the background like so many little details I think it's really really cute at first I was hoping that it was like this Halloween themed design that Amiyami had on its banner for a few weeks but I'm not disappointed with this design at all like I said I think it's really cute on the back is the standard thank you for shopping with us blah 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 again pretty well kind of cute but pretty plain but the front of the card definitely is amazing so yeah let's get into the items that's what you guys care about right so yeah first item up and it's one i wasn't really expecting to get i don't know i just saw it and just grabbed it but it is this bushy road luck and logic halloween card deck case um for those who don't know luck and logic is like this card game that's in japan i know nothing about it um i've never played the game uh, don't even know anything about any of the characters. However, I'm a huge fan of anything Halloween themed or Halloween related. Like I see it and I just can't help myself. I just tend to grab it. And that's kind of what happened with this here. So even though I have a bunch of Bushy Road card deck cases, whatever, that I have yet to put together. Um, because as you see, it's flat now, but they fold together to make this card box. Yeah. Um, so even though I have a bunch of those I haven't even used yet, I saw this one, I saw it was orange, I saw some pumpkins, a broomstick, and I was like, yeah, gotta get that. So here are the characters on here. It's Nina Alexandrovna, um, Mana Asuha, like a cat girl, and Chloe Maxwell. So yeah, pretty cute design. Like I said, I know nothing about the characters, nothing about the game. Um, but I saw that and just had to grab it. And this being like a limited Halloween set, it also came with, um, three like limited cards of the girls, I guess the characters here, um, that you can add to your deck. But seeing that I don't play the game, I don't even have a deck to put these in. So yeah, but I mean, pretty cute design. As you can see here, it's the same as what's shown up here. And here's the back, or technically the top of the box, which is, again, the same designs. So pretty cute. I especially love this one, um, just because I love, like I said, the pumpkin, the broomstick, the little witch outfit. Really cute. But all the designs are pretty cute here. So, yeah. Guess I'll have to read up more on the characters in the game. Yep. Okay, guys. And next item I have... I just want to apologize beforehand that it might be a little hard for me to fit it all on camera for you at once because the box is kind of tall. But it is this Max Factory 120th scale model kit of Mio Sakamoto from the anime series Strike Witches. Um, I've only seen a few episodes from this anime. It's not, I mean, it's okay. It's not like my favorite anime. I still have yet to even get close to finishing it um 
but as I mentioned before I love like puzzles and model kits and things like that so when I saw this one pop up I just decided to go for it here it is on a on the side it just says minimum factory 120th scale this is max factory's play max Plymax line or however you want to pronounce that um, they just recently started getting into the model kit design kind of aspect of it for the factory so I decided to try this out let's see the back again it's Mio Sakamoto from the anime series kind of a little background on her but it's in Japanese which I can't read and right here is what the model looks like when put together so yeah, pretty cool. I can't wait to put that together. It's 120th scale, so I'm sure it's going to be very tiny. The box is actually pretty flat, even though it's kind of tall. But still, I'm pretty sure the figure is going to be like this big or something like that. Because even like post skeleton line is 118th scale and they're pretty tiny. So 120th scale, yeah, it's got to be just like micro I don't even know so yeah I can't and wait to check up that next out next is a piece I was kind of oddly excited about and it is another remint furniture piece and this go around is the kitchen set now uh years ago Rem remint had released another kitchen set which kind of became hard to find on the aftermarket and I kind of have been looking for it for a while so once remit announced that they were going to re-release it with some differences I was pretty excited about that so this is the newer version of it and you can see it's a pretty simple just background kitchen set to kind of hold um, some of my other remit miniature pieces that I kind of have lying around and have no way to kind of display them so it was great now that I finally have a kitchen that I can kind of put together with those pieces so yeah like I said I was pretty excited about that um, this is the bigger furniture piece so it'll be much too big for Nendoroids but yeah I think it'll still look great and go with some of the designs I'm hope to eventually do on my shelf so yeah here's the front of the box you can see it kind of like none of these extra pieces come with it it's mostly just like the sink and these cabinets and the counter yeah pretty cute right up top you can see how you can fold down the back to make it kind of like an island nothing on the bottom um, nothing on that side this side just shows how you can open up the drawers and the cabinets on it and here's the back showing the other version of it down below you can see um, the pieces that come in a box and it's a decent size weight so I'm sure this was also helping to kind of weigh down my haul this month and why I had to pay so much in shipping but yeah really excited about this piece like I said um, you guys know I collect remit from before so I kind of have just a bunch of little tiny miniatures all over the place so yeah this will give me a great way to kind of keep them on display without having them be kind of messy and just sitting there and collecting dust so yeah really cool piece up next we have another item that i'm really excited about but not for the reasons why you think and it is pucho world featuring marvel Tsum Tsums. now um i think you guys seen me get this box before but with the love live box which is bigger than this but pucho world is a type of chewy candy which I love. I had the entire box of the Love Live one and I finished it and ever since then I was like, well, as soon as Amiyami put up another box of Pucho, I'm gonna grab it no matter what the item is. So though I didn't care too much for the Marvel Tsum Tsums, I mean, some are cute, so I'll be glad to have them. I'm mostly just really interested in this box for the candy. So you can see the top, how it opens up and it's the many different packs in here. This side just shows some of the Tsum Tsums that will come with the candy pieces. Because the packs are small, the Tsum Tsums are only going to be about this big. Really tiny, so yeah, not much I can really do with these. I'll line them up somewhere at work, I guess. But mostly I'm excited about the candy, guys. The candy. You can see here on the side what which some of the um, chewy pieces look like, but they're different flavors. So yeah, I can't wait for this. This is the main thing I'm excited about with this box pretty heavy considering this box is so tiny really really heavy it feels like a small brick so yeah definitely another reason why i had to pay so much in shipping but it's worth it it's pucho really really worth it okay and just for those who are curious here's what one of the packs look like and as you can see 
Featured right on front is a Tsum Tsum of uh, Spider-Man. And so you can see what I meant about how tiny the box is. So yeah, maybe I'll open that up for you guys. And no, well yeah, I'm going to eat the candy. But anyway. So yeah guys, here's the little box with the little Tsum Tsum in it. And let's see who we have. We have a little Tsum Tsum. Oh, is it the Hulk? Yeah, and these are like erasers it look like. Yeah, so a little school eraser is really cute, pretty long, and it's the Hulk. So adorable, really cute, but I just want the candy. Yeah. Okay, and moving on to the next item. have to say, though, guys, it took a minute to kind of crack into the candy. And it seems so far to be like the same flavor, this little pink one that they're showing in the edge of the package. Which must be one of like the seasonal Japanese flavors, because it's kind of like the sour grape. Hard to describe flavor, can't really put my finger on it, though it seems vaguely familiar. So it really kind of took a second for me to kind of get used to it. And um, But I mean, it's not too bad once you get through it, but yeah, definitely was a surprise there. Like kind of like, yeah, I'm expecting something really sweet and got something really sour, kind of bitter for a minute there. <laughs> really kind of funny. So anyway so, guys, yeah, next on. item we have is also vaguely Halloween themed. And it is... Nendoroid Cold Pumpkin Miku. I think the title is actually longer than that, but I can't really remember it. But Pumpkin Miku will do. And she's so cute, guys. This I outfit was based off one she had in one of like the Sega um, Project Diva games, I believe. But I saw it. Not only is it Halloween themed, cute pumpkin, it's Miku. Who can't resist Miku? And she looks really adorable here. Um, for those of you who remember, Nendoroid codes are kind of like simplified versions of Nendoroids. So they can't really be posed, but you can kind of like separate like the skirt from the torso piece and like the shoes. So very simple form of a Nendoroid, no extra accessories, but still really cute. Who can resist this adorable Miku? So here she is from the front. I really love her hair on this. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm kind of trying to hold the package. She has like these stars and these little wing things up top on her ponytail. So really cute. Let me switch it to the back. So here you go. A little a better view of her. So this is exactly what the Nendoroid coat looks like. Really, really cute. I love her orange bright pumpkin little skirt she has on. Really goes well with the blue that's in her hair. So yeah, really cute. I love this. I was really looking forward to this as well. Really adorable. Okay guys, we're almost done, but next item up we have Nendoroid number 639, Aba Suzukaze from the manga slash anime series New Game. Here she is, she is so cute. I have yet to see this series or even read it, um, but I always did love the look of the character. Alba she's adorable I especially love her purple hair like I'm a sucker for like purple hair it's so cute um and I do know like the gist of the series is that she's like a recent high school grad and she gets her first job as um at a video game company where they make games so she's like really excited about that and wants to succeed and it's just like as simple as that in the series so I, I love video games I love anime i love purple hair so i'm like yeah i love this character have to check it out but so far here she is alba is adorable you can't really tell from this front screen because so much glare but uh you can see she comes with an extra pair of arms she even comes with a little game controller that's kind of modeled after a playstation controller i don't know if you guys can see it's pretty tiny it's like a red color um there's her employee id badge some extra hands with a cup of coffee um, and a few extra face plates, but you guys can't really see that. So yeah, you can see here, like I said, how adorable she is. I love that she's wearing like a grown-up suit, but she still has these little pigtails to show that she's so young. Here she is from the top. Oh, such a cute face. She's sipping on the coffee. Bottom. Adorable, playing in the game. This side, she's making this weird cry face this side what her saying really cute and finally the back so really adorable i can't wait to open this one up 
really cute very simple but yeah like i said really cute so there's abba okay guys and final item i'm just gonna go ahead and apologize now because there's no way that my poor lighting is gonna be able to do this figure justice but i'm gonna attempt to show you guys anyway and it is you may have guessed that's right is good small companies I want to say 1 7 scale or is it 1 8th scale of Munichika from Token Rambo. And now this was one of the items that got delayed. It actually got delayed quite a few times. But I was kind of okay with that just because I had so many other expensive things coming out from Ami Ami. But yeah, I wish I can show you guys up close just how perfectly detailed good small company got this figure let me try to lift the camera a bit it's kind of hard because as you can see from the box let me move the camera back sorry guys i apologize but the bottom is like this black matte color with the design you can see like the half sun i mean the half moon um emblem that belongs to munichika and the box is this beautiful like dark blue color up top let me just turn it to the side so you guys can see here is what he looks like you can see from the side of the box i wish i could just show you that from the front of the box to see the actual details on the figure but you can see here just how very detailed he is you can see all his pieces and even his emblem on his outfit is like this metallic gold color as well as see how well painted um, the little red cord is around his waist. And um, If you see how well the sheen is on the outfit itself, you'd be like so crazy over this figure guys. Even the box is gorgeous. Let me just turn it again. Just so you can see from the glint here, this is actually like a metallic gold painted the way his name is written on the side of the box. Though it's hard to tell from straight on once the light hits him. Just again, this side of the box. Uh, you see his emblem here again in the gold. But it doesn't reflect well in the light. Here you get a little up close view of what his face will look like. And again, you can see how just well detailed it is. Let me just see in the back. So yeah, you have every angle of him. Really good looking figure. I'm really surprised. Were surprised. I mean, I know Good Smile Company does a good job, but yes, very detailed, very beautiful figure. I really just wish you guys can get a good view of him. There he is. Let me try to zoom in for you guys. Can you guys see? Not too much glare, right? There. So you can kind of see the details. They're just very small. And with all the plastic covering him inside the package and the glare of the light, it's just really hard to get a good look at him. But really, really gorgeous figure. I'll have to unbox this for you guys. I'll see. I was planning on leaving him in the box on the shelf. But I'll have to decide about that. So, there he is. So yeah guys, and that's it for my haul this month. Hopefully that didn't take too long to show you guys. Um, I'm, but like I said, I'm pretty excited. All of the variety of items I got this month, but all of it is pretty decent. I love everything I got. I mean, of course, yeah, I picked it, but yeah, everything looks great. Can't wait to unbox a few things to show you guys a little bit more. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this as well. And look, poor Munichika. If only you guys could see how great he looks. He really does look really, really good. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what that flavor was of the Pucho candy I was eating. Every few seconds it kind of changes, so it kind of reminds me of those jelly beans of the different flavors, if you guys know what I mean. Kind of like I have sour grape, soap, some wax, some soda. It's just weird flavors all in my mouth. But yeah, guys, so very interesting haul this month. Very interesting items yeah so thanks for watching guys hope to catch you in the next video please let me know what you think and which item was your favorite in the comments below thanks for watching bye